Hey everyone, Michael Durr here with PhotoPXL.com and today I want to show you how I took this image and created this video using the Wurble app. I was turned on to the Wurble app by my friend Brian Stidham. He's at Brian Stidham on Instagram. I really enjoyed seeing some of his posts that were brought to life using video elements overlaid onto his still images. Using that as inspiration, I'm going to break down exactly how I created these effects in this particular piece. And we're going to jump right into my sample here today. Yes, that's not it, but I haven't had a haircut in about six months. So here's the image we're going to use today. This is, uh, it's called Electric Reindeer. It's a beer from Sun King Brewing, which is here in Indianapolis. I actually shot this image in my garage, and uh, here's a look at the setup if you're interested. I had a tinfoil backdrop that I had a small speed light shooting up against, and I was lighting the can with some Lytra lights. Uh, it worked out really well. I, I, I enjoy how this came out. It was challenging shooting this can because it was so reflective, uh, but I think I, I, I like how it came out and how the light kind of uh, lines up with the antlers there. So let's jump in and see what this app can do here. Good way of explaining kind of how this works is it's similar to Photoshop, except you're using kind of video elements that overlay on top of the image that you can then blend, mask, and, uh, and work with in different ways uh, to kind of enhance your image or add some life to it. So let's jump into the editor here. One of the things you'll find with this app, it is a paid app. And one of the things I'm not a huge fan of is having to purchase things from the app itself, but they are worth it. So there's these bundles that you can see down here, some of which come with the app when you purchase it, others I have purchased uh, kind of in addition. And it's worth it because for several reasons, you can actually add, add these elements to your, to your image and make them look a lot different each time. So it's not kind of like a, a, a single thing that you're gonna be using over and over again, it's gonna look the same. And I'm gonna show you how, how that, that is applied here. So one of the things I know I wanted to do with this particular image, because it's called Electric Rainier, was add some lightning bolts. So actually I, I purchased this Force Effects 2 bundle. There's some really cool stuff in here uh, if you're interested in, in learning more about it. But there's these lightning bolts here. So what I'm gonna do is add one, I'm just gonna click on it. You can see there's, there's one. And what I wanted to do is kind of make these lightning bolts look as if they're kind of like hitting the antlers of the reindeer here in this picture. So uh, I, I, rather than use the same exact lightning bolt, I'm gonna use two different ones. So if you see underneath the image here, there's kind of like what you would consider your layers. And in the layers, I'm gonna click the add button and we're gonna add a, a secondary lightning bolt. Now, obviously I don't want it to look like this. <laughs> so if you look at the, uh, like right now I'm selected on this layer here on the far right, I can kind of pinch and drag, move that lightning bolt around, resize it however I'd like. And I kind of want to line this up with the reindeer antler on the right side here. That's cool. Now I'm going to click on the first lightning bolt, do the same thing. Bring that in about there. So you can see that's already looking, looking kind of cool. I want to make that a little bit larger. Make sure it's lined up properly. A little larger still. I want to keep it on the can, make it kind of look like it's, it's uh, staying within the can and not the background. Now one of the things you can do with this, once you kind of have things placed the way you want, is you can kind of go in here and it gives you a whole slew of tools uh, that you can use to either blend or change color, or actually mask, uh, and we'll show you that here in a, in a second. Um, but one of the things I wanted to do here was uh, change the, the time, which actually can reverse um, the way that the lightning bolt is, is playing. So you can kind of see it's uh, kind of shooting out from the antler ear. I'm gonna reverse it to make it look more like it's coming from the, the top and hitting the antler, antler ear. I'm gonna do the same thing with both lightning bolts. That's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna click on this first one, which is the, the lightning bolt on the left there. I'm gonna go back to my tool selection and I'm gonna go to blend. Now you can see if I click on mode down here, it's a whole, it's very similar to Photoshop actually, even in the way that they're named and how they work. Um, screen is gonna be the one that I wanna use. It's gonna kind of take out all the black and uh, it's gonna work really well, but I am actually gonna bring down the opacity just a little bit. So it kind of blends into the can a little bit more, just like that. And I'm gonna do that to both uh, is of the layers as well. 
So that looks pretty good. Subtle. Uh, and what, what, what I find with these is you don't want to go overboard. I mean, the stuff that you kind of saw there in the, uh, in the samples are incredible kind of works of art. Um, the, the reason I want to use this app is to kind of enhance a still image, to almost make it look like a cinemagraph or kind of make you take a double take and be like, wait a minute, what's, what's going on there? Um, so I like the, the subtlety of this, uh, these lightning bolts, those look really good. Now you could be done here and just export that and, and post it. And I'm sure as you were swiping through, someone might see that and they'd be like, wow, what's happening here? So uh, uh, that works out pretty well. But I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna add another layer and I'm gonna go back to my kind of bundles here. And if you look at, I believe it's under weather, let's take a look. Yeah, you see there, there's kind of like these pre-made backdrops and, and whatnot. So we're gonna use this, uh, this lightning storm. Now, as you can see, it's kind of covered the entire image. So I'm gonna pinch this down. I'm gonna kind of line it up with the horizon here. So I, I just wanna affect the background on this particular shot. So maybe I'll have a little bit of overlay so I get some of that reflection in the, in the ice cubes there. That looks good. I'm gonna click on the layer, I'm gonna to go to blend modes. And if you see it's, uh, I'm gonna to go to probably screen again, which is gonna take out that black. That actually kind of mutes the background a little bit. I actually think I'm liking the way soft light works. See how subtle that is? Now, the one thing I wanna do here is I only wanna affect the background. So uh, I'm gonna go into, back to my tool menu, I'm gonna to go to mask. And this actually allows you to zoom in on the image. So this works just like it would in Photoshop. So you can zoom in pretty tight and just kind of mask. Um, you can do different brush brushes and this one's a little bit softer. You can kind of get in pretty tight here and just kind of mask out that can. And I, I might speed this up a little bit just so you don't have to watch me, uh, watch me do this, but I want to get it basically as close as I can to perfect here. So. so let's see how that's looking. That looks good. I'm actually going to click back into my tool menu here. Click on there. I'm gonna go back to blend. I'm actually gonna bring down the opacity on that background a little bit more. You see just a little bit of that kind of flashing in the, in the background. That looks pretty perfect, actually. So I want to do one more thing. This is a, you know, a thing that might take it too, too far for me. Like, I like the way this looks. I would probably export this and use it just like this, just fine. Uh, but it is, it is winter. It's called electric reindeer. We're going to add some snow to this. So we're going to go into weather here again. I believe the weather is, uh, an, is, comes with the app when you purchase it. I'm gonna go to these snowflakes. That one's kind of cool. It's a little bit dramatic. The snow's kind of coming at you. I wanna see what this one looks like. Yeah, this is more what I was thinking, kind of slow falling snow. And you can actually zoom in on this a little bit, make the flakes a little bit bigger, kind of as if they were in the foreground. That looks pretty great right there. And you can do the same thing here is you can kind of go into these blending modes. Uh, now, typically snow would not be transparent, so I don't want to uh, bring down the opacity. I'm going to look at the different blend modes here, see how they look. Most likely screen will be the one that we want, which is going to take out all that black. Yeah, we're going to stick with screen. Now, this is a pretty in-depth app. There's lots that you can do here. Uh, you can kind of let your creativity run wild and try all sorts of different things. If you're interested in this type of, these types of effects, I'd recommend giving the app a try and see if you like it and kind of stuff that you could do with it. So I want to take a, ex I want to export this the way it is. I want to actually click on this top, top right export button. It's going to render it. And you have the option to kind of save or share this however you'd like. I want to just save it to my library. Now here's a cool thing. You could save this as a video or a GIF. So on the video, I can save it as a you know six second video, which is just gonna play and kind of loop. So we're gonna export that as a video. 
Now, if I was posting this to like Instagram or something like that, this would be what I would do so that you would see that uh, effect right away. Now you can also, if, if you're gonna text this or maybe post to Facebook, you can save it as a GIF, which will just continually play as a loop. Gives you kind of different quality issues. The GIF's obviously going to be of a lower quality. So if you wanted to post to Instagram, I would recommend doing the video. But if you just wanted to share something on your, you know, via text message, or just a quick post to Facebook or something like that, uh, using a GIF would be just as good. One of the things I want to mention here is I don't really see a way to save the project. So it's kind of like if you do a ton of work, uh, I don't really see a, a way of saving the project. I could be wrong. I'm going to dive in a little bit more and see if, uh, if there's a way to do that. Uh, so now once I exit out of this, this kind of project's going to be going to be gone. So you want to make sure that you get a, you kind of get it right the first time. So what I want to do is I did like the way it looked without the snow. So I'm going to go to the snow. So I'm going to go to the snow layer here and I'm just going to drag that and delete it just like that. All you got, all you have to do is click on the layer and hit the trash can there and it deletes. Now I like the way this looks. I like the subtlety of it. So I want to export this to, to my, my phone library here and just save it to as a six second loop. And I'll also save it as a GIF just in case. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look on how this piece was made. I'm sure you can see there are endless possibilities of creating fun and engaging content for your social media using the Warble app. If you have any questions or want to share your own creations, feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram at instadur. And as always, thank you for watching this video and be sure to visit photopxl.com where we're working every day to enhance your vision. See you in the next one.